Welcome to Silica, a game where you get to experience an amazing walking simulator that is swiftly followed by an artillery strike. Yes, that was friendly fire. Enjoy exploring the world of Fall Terrace, a planet that is absolutely not a love story to Dune or Tatooine. Hope you like the sand, cause it's coarse and it gets everywhere. Silly references are worth a like and subscribe, right? Silica is an early access first person shooter fused with real time strategy. This is what happens when you take Battlefield and think to yourself, I wish I was playing Starcraft right now. Your job as a prospector from the Soul System is to collect a rare resource called Baltarium, while fending off a rival faction and a hostile alien race, all of which you get to learn from the beautifully crafted, albeit perhaps a bit lengthy, intro sequence. Let's talk about the basics. There are currently three game modes you can play. Prospector, Arena, and Strategy. Prospector is your FPS only game mode that currently functions as a basic infantry tutorial. It's early access, don't forget, there's more to come. I'd like to refer to it as story mode myself as you receive a frequent feed of information from someone while you hunt for Baltarium. It has two parts at the moment and the crabs are very squishy in this mode. Don't get used to that unless you're in a tank, then they're still squishy. Arena is, and I quote, an unbalanced FPS free-for-all. Pick up your favorite unit and enter into a grand brawl with up to 50 AI or players. Total chaos, but it is perhaps the most effective way to learn how each unit operates in a combat scenario, except for the rocket launcher. Not really a great way to learn the rocket launcher. Strategy mode is the real meat of this game. You get to pick between the three main factions, humans, aliens, and humans. Yes, I said humans twice. No, there is no difference in how they play. And that's okay, because the lore. The host of a server can choose whether to play humans versus humans, humans versus aliens, or have all three factions in play. Once in-game, each player gets to pick whether to be an infantry or a commander. You can only have one commander per faction, but the rest of the peasants will have the joy of delivering the commander's fiery or crabby justice to the rest of the world. This has been my experience. This game will allow you to have moments that are surprisingly relaxing, intermixed with high intensity action. Yes, running across what seems to be an endless sea of waving sand can sometimes feel mm, tedious, but have you tried driving a harvester? Sure, it's a simple and slow loop, but not only do you get to help your commander by gathering resources substantially faster than the unfortunate AI who deem it necessary to make a 321 point turn to drive in a straight line, but it is surprisingly satisfying just to relax in your mammoth of a vehicle, drive towards a marker, rev up your drill, and aim for the glowing blue spots in the ground. Having a stressful day? Turn on a server and let the AI command while you run, well, walk around in a harvester. They'll handle the rest, eventually, probably. Or you can scout out the map for your team, either on foot or in one of the first vehicles. Exploring the map and discovering the location of the enemy bases is key to winning for your team in a timely manner. Maybe you can even capture some bunkers while you're at it. I'm sure you'll never need to worry about any massively stressful scenarios involving the bunkers. Into the bunker we go, Ben. Oh no. Ah. Oh, she hit me through the freaking bunker. That's cheating. Now this game is in beta, which means there are certainly a lot of bugs, not just this kind, and there might be times when you desperately wish you had a setting to turn off motion blur because all of your frames ran away. But when it works and the siege begins, this game is breathtaking.
visuals, the lighting, the soundtrack. Man, do I love the soundtrack. It is so easy to forget that you are constantly being hunted by enormous bugs while out in the dunes listening to beautiful music. Thank you, Scott Buckley, for writing this wonderful soundtrack. Tell me about your experiences traveling around Balteris in the comments below. Remember, this is an early access game and there are still plenty of bugs to fix, so let the devs know when you encounter an issue. And tell me about it, because I enjoy your stories. Oh, and if you're wondering what else I've been up to lately, check the video on the left. I'm your benefactor, and I pray you have a wonderful day.